There has been a lot of talk about science deniers, people who deny accepted scientific facts. When we use this label, we are implicitly buying into the deficit model of scientific communication. The deficit model says that if people just knew the facts, they would act in accordance with the scientific evidence. But research has shown that science deniers know the facts. They just do not believe them. The solution to this problem is not to present more facts. We need to switch our focus from the facts to the context in which these facts are presented. We must bring the human element back into science communication. People trust people, not facts. To reach science deniers, we must make a personal connection with the public. Scientists, especially young scientists, must be more visible. We can no longer turn our work over to science communicators. We must learn to speak in personal ways about our research. We have to share our journey as scientists. We need to change the culture of scientific training so that young scientists will want to talk to the public in ways that make a difference. We do not need another Bill Nye, or 10, or 100 Bill Nyes. We need every scientist trained and willing to speak personally about their research. Scientists will be trusted when they are seen as people, not as white-coated automata. Please like this video so that others can find it, and check out my book, Presenting Science Concisely.